Hi guys! So today I'm here to talk to you guys about Fangirl chapters 13 through 25, also known as the time that Rincey felt all of the feels. There is a lot that happens in this section and I'm not going to try to recap it all because I'm going to assume that if you're watching this video you've read this book already. If you haven't, you probably want to not watch this video because there will be spoilers for this entire section. There is a situation with Kath and Levi where we find out that Levi doesn't really read, or he knows how to read, but he doesn't really do well comprehending the things that he reads. He has a hard time finishing books, things like that. So he usually listens to audiobooks or he has Regan help him. We find out that Regan was supposed to help him with the Outsiders book and she is nowhere to be found. So Kath reads the entire book to him and then ends up staying up all night with him and they're laying in bed together and then they kiss, which I was very excited about but then I was immediately very sad about because Kath just didn't know how to handle the situation and because of that Levi assumed that Kath wasn't interested and then he ended up kissing another girl at a party at his house and Kath saw and then ignored him for a really long time. Oh I was so sad when all of that was happening because you knew that they liked each other and you just wanted to fix it and see them together and I was very excited that by the end of the section they decided to give it a chance. Speaking of that, just everything Kath said and Kath was thinking post kissing Levi was literally things that I've thought myself and seeing it written out in here was really really weird and part of the reason why I had so many feels. I feel like a lot of this book was me reading things about myself. It almost felt like I was having a therapy session while I was reading this book. Also I just wanted to say that I was correct in thinking that Regan and Levi weren't dating each other. We find out that they dated each other in high school which actually makes a lot of sense and now they're just friends. And I think that Regan's reaction to everything that happened was really interesting and actually really nice that she didn't force Kath to have to hang out with Levi even though Regan and Levi are good friends. Also just everything that happens with their dad hit pretty close to home because I also had situations when I was in college where my dad wasn't doing too great and all I wanted to do was come home and I understood a lot of what Kath was feeling. Obviously my situation was a little bit different because my mom's still around so she's home with them and I have two sisters who are also in the area. But I feel like if I was in Kath's situation I probably would have done the exact same thing Kath had done. This just added to the amount of feels that I was feeling during this section. Another thing that I liked about this section, I like that they're developing that Kath has friends. I feel like the way that she's getting friends in this book is similar to the way that I had friends early on in college. She talks about how she has people that she sort of talks to on a regular basis, either in classes or she just hangs out with them at the library and things like that and she doesn't necessarily go out with them and party with them and things like that but she talks to them on a regular basis and they're kind of friends and I feel like that was me my freshman year. I had people in my life who I would just see in my classes because we were the same major so you know we would study together but I would never say go out with them and party and things like that. They weren't people who invited me out or anything like that so like really this whole section felt like a weird flashback into my college life. Life, and it was kind of insane. There were a couple of things that happened in this section that also kind of surprised me. The first thing was the situation with Nick. While I guessed that something would happen between them but it wouldn't work out in the end, I didn't expect Nick to use the story that they were working on together for their final project. I don't think that he was wrong in that but I do understand why Kath was hurt by it and I'm kind of wondering now if Kath and Nick are going to have any other sort of interaction because it's not like they have the English class together anymore and so I wonder if there is going to be any sort of resolution between those two characters but I also wouldn't be surprised if Nick was just kind of dropped off from the storyline because there is still so much going on and there isn't much more story left. The other thing that kind of surprised me was the situation with Ren and Kath and their mom. I am actually on Ren's side which I wasn't expecting. I don't think that Ren is wrong to want to have a relationship with her mom mother and I think Kath is being a little bit of a jerk about it. I understand that Kath is upset by what happened in the past but I can't 
side with her because I feel like she's being a jerk to Ren because it isn't wrong to want to have a relationship with your mother even if things did go down and that kind of surprised me because I didn't think I would feel that way or have any strong sympathy for Ren in this book but it turns out that I actually feel like Kath is being kind of a jerk to her. To be completely honest, I'm not sure how this story is going to end. I hope that Kath and Ren end up forgiving each other and I have a feeling it'll lead that way and I hope that Kath and Liam stay together because in my head I think that they are just super adorable but I don't know exactly how they're going to resolve things with their dad. I have a feeling that it's going to lead towards the happily ever after but I'm not completely sure because of the way that Eleanor and Park went. I didn't see that ending coming so I don't know if that's going to happen in this book. So yeah, those are all of my thoughts on this section of fangirl. Let me know what you guys think of what you've read so far and also if you have any predictions about how the book is going to end, feel free to leave those comments as well. So yeah, that's all I have for now and tune in next Wednesday when I go over the final section of fangirl. Bye! So first off, the characters that we have been introduced to so far in this book include Kath, who is the main character